welcome to the Passport to Success podcast, where this week we are talking about why it isn't necessarily the best to rank number one on Google. <gasps> Controversial, but true. I'm Becca. And I'm Simon. From Passport to Success, the online platform built by industry experts designed to help, advise, guide and support entrepreneurs and small business owners to success. Mm. Happy four day weekend. Yeah, oh, it's almost the bank holiday. We're very excited. We are Hopefully, extremely excited. You guys are excited too. So if you're not working, if yeah. you have a four day weekend, which I hope you yeah. all do. If you don't, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Commiserations. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, you know, as we always kick off every week, it's got to be tool, tool, tool of the week. Tool of the week. Should tool have like a little jingle, shouldn't we, really? Singing the song about the tool of the week. A little jingle put in there. Anyway, so this one is, it's called Last Pa- Last, pass. Last Pass. So it's a browser extension on uh, Chrome, Firefox. And what you've got to do, obviously, at first, is you've got to create an account, mm-hmm. create a password, mm-hmm. and then what it then does is it um, you have your own vault. So you can add websites to this vault, yeah. which you frequently visit, and you have got your password saved and everything, or your password... Because, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm not great at making up passwords on on the spot. So, not everybody is. And then, so then all my passwords are... The same? Well, the, what, similar? Yeah, so, yeah the similar, similar. Um, Which isn't good in this time of cyber security. Yeah, so what this does as well is, what you do is you put a site in, say, for example, Facebook in this vault, and then it generates you a password, like a completely random password, which then is automatically filled in to Facebook automatically, so you don't have to fill it in yourself. So you can constantly, you can change this whenever you like. Oh, There's no okay. like problems. Say if you did happen to get hacked, literally all you need to do is go into your vault, change password, and sorted. then it changes it on, on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, so um, it's really handy for generating new passwords because obviously if you're in business, you want to have a secure. You want security. You want to be as secure as pos, yes. and you want to have the best password you can possibly have to stop you being hacked. So uh, it's free if you just. If you're an individual, uh-huh. it's free. If it's got a larger business, uh-huh. it's uh, five to fifty users, which is around three pound ten a month. That's very which cheap. Isn't a lot. And then, £3.10 a month. if you want sort of unlimited users, it's five for five plus. It's four pound sixty five a month, which again isn't a lot if you're in business and you want wanting to take, take care of your passwords. It will save you time in terms of generating your passwords. In putting them in, I'm taking it secure as well. It is. Yeah. It's secure, so you can rest assured that your passwords are safe. Yeah. So it's cool. definitely worth giving a go, basically. Yeah. On to the main bit of the podcast, and we have controversially said that it's not necessarily the best ranking number one on Google. <gasps> I know. True. I know. Interesting. Yeah. Ahrefs have done a study. Which shows that being the number one doesn't always mean that you're going to get the greatest number of clicks. Ahrefs look at SEO and ranking. It's a tool that you can use and it analyzes how you how well you are ranking. And their study, as we've just said, shows that not that being number one doesn't always mean you're going to get the greatest number of clicks. You're gonna get more than number two, number three, number four because you're number yeah. one. However, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get the most amount of traffic. Yeah, which I think is understand. It, 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 from that point of view, you can understand why it's you're not going to click on number one all the time. The amount of times I've googled something, clicked on number that's ranking number one, it's not got the info that I want. Yeah. I've gone, or then I'll click on number two on. Uh, oh, I say number two, like the second place because it's the meta description and everything's much better and it's sort of looking more towards what I'm wanting. Yep. If you normally Google something now, the organic results, if you literally Google anything, nine times out of ten, the organic results now are like are below the, There's you've the got paid. the ads, 
the then you've got the local and then you've got like the local ones as yeah. well so it's oh, it's gradually getting pushed further and further down so you may be ranking number one organically but you're not going to be number one when you get to that page of google because of the sponsored ones yeah the ads. yeah so, so yeah down. it's now prioritizing obviously ads general ads and the local ads as well so if you're further down with your organic search you're going to get less clicks yes yeah, exactly people are going to yeah. click onto the paid ones the sponsored ones uh, don't give up though you should worry about all of the changes it's because google have done so many algorithm changes so it's not necessarily it's always changing you or your keywords yeah or you or your seo no it's always changing it's i mean this is one of the main reasons why people are now aiming more towards ads than yeah. and then them focusing on organic listings because of the sheer difference of say just 10 years ago or even a couple yeah, of yeah. years ago you don't, might not even have to go back that far what you used to have was you used to have a list on the right hand side that used to have ads there as yeah. well and the organic ones were a bit further up but now they've got rid of the ones on the right hand side it's just the ads listing ads and then the organic underneath which it's because of all the changes Google down. are making, it could be worth considering looking on Bing and yeah. advertising on Bing or focusing on Bing because people still use it. I know every the term to Google it has be, just become like common talk now, hasn't mm. it? But Google is not the only search engine out there, so it could be worth looking into other search engines yeah, and focusing on there because you'll get you you'll still get people from your target audience. You might just get different people. Obviously, Google's the biggest one. By, it's by the biggest far. one. Yes. So you'd obviously you'd have to do a bit of research, seeing how the percentage was and what of your user base is. Just it, it's just another option. Don't yeah, rule it out. As well as looking potentially on Bing and other search engines. There's some other suggestions we, we can suggest. Number one is create an amazing user experience. Google doesn't want to rank the sites at the top that are the best optimized ones. They're going to rank the ones that users love using too. So focus on that in the long run, you should rank higher. Yeah. So make your website slick, quick, easy, user friendly, make your customers yeah. like your website. You don't want a website that's hard to use. It's We've always said it, how using a website you need to be it needs to be easy for whoever's going on if it's slow it. people click off if yeah. it's not optimized for the mobile people click off if it's you wanna... the buttons are tiny people click off mm, yeah make sure that your website is on user experience wise is on fantastic. point yeah. to <laughs> use the lingo you make sure it's on point. Okay, so number two is that all keywords have trends in, in changing popularity. Do. So don't just have a group of keywords that you're wanting to target for 10 years. You want to, or even even less than that, I was just a poor example there. <laughs> uh, just you need to make sure you keep updated with your keywords and have a look at what your audience are looking for. Yep. And adjust how you're going to advertise towards them, look at your keywords, try yeah. and go for different keywords. You need to change. You can't stick to the same and expect the same results. Things change and you need to adapt to the changes. Yes. Also, look at conversion rates. More traffic doesn't always necessarily mean more sales. You need to optimize your conversion rates so that the organic visitors have a much higher chance of converting. If you are seeing a lot of traffic to your website, and then no conversions, you're going to see where the problem is. Yeah. It's like when, if you've got a leak in a pipe and you know it's going, it's coming from the mains, but it's not reaching the tap. Yeah. So you know that there's a problem in the middle. It's like, um, you could be first on Google, because great, you're getting loads of traffic, it's going so well, yeah. but your conversions are worse than someone who's in second place, because they've yeah. managed to optimise their yeah. conversion, like conversions so well. Yes. So it's all good being at the top, getting all the traffic, but if you're not getting the conversions, then what's the point? You're not getting any of that, you're not making any money. So you need to make sure that everything is uh, conversion wise and exactly. all your optimization is perfect. And finally, number four is make sure, I think we mentioned this maybe last week, maybe a week before in one of the podcasts, I can't remember, is make sure that you're updating old content. Yes. You want to make sure that it's relevant as yes. much as possible. So then when people are going onto your website or onto your YouTube or social media and they see an article, uh, a, an audio, uh, any audio, whether it's a podcast or if they're watching a video, yeah. it's relevant for no, however further down the yes. line they are. So yeah, there's a few things. There's a few things worse than when you look on a website and it is dated 
bad, mm. like, because it makes you think they're not keeping up to date, they're not trying. It's like, um, have you ever, I've been on YouTube a couple of times when um, it's, say, I've, I'm having such a simple issue to fix, mm. or, or not even fix, I'm just curious about something, and I'll click on it, and there'll be a video on YouTube, so I'll click it, and it's from 2012, yeah. and I'm like, this can't be the this, same anymore. Yeah. Like, there's no way this is the same. Like we said with keywords and algorithms, everything changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just need to make sure that you've, you're creating content, uh, evergreen content in general, or content that you know you can co consistently update throughout the years, so yeah. everyone's happy. It's easier in some fields. If you're in the tech industry, tech's always changing. improving, changing. Yeah. Whereas if you're something which isn't progressing as quickly as tech, for example, you just need to make sure that you keep mm -hmm. up to date with it. And there are some SEO strategies which can help you get more traffic than others. If you use them correctly, then you should get more traffic over time. Number one is globalization. Search terms aren't exactly competitive outside of English. However, this is changing, so maybe consider making your content available for popular languages. Yeah. Even if you don't trade or deal with overbroad overseas, England is quite multicultural and English isn't everybody's first language. So yeah, exactly. look into what the popular languages are in uh, your area, in your demographic, in your yes. target audience, and consider having some translation. Yeah, it's just, it just gives an option as well for people who are it, who are looking elsewhere, who from different countries are looking for the information that you provide in English, yep. but if you don't provide it in French, Spanish, Chinese, whatever, then they're not going to click on. But if they have the option to switch yep. to a different uh, nationality or language, then perfect. It's brilliant. They can easily click on your website, which means ultimately you're going to get more clicks, and that means you're going to get further up, more traffic, yep. more conversions. Yep. Hey, presto. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, number two is making sure that you do an off-site, uh, off-site, off-page SEO. So this will still impact your rankings, yes. so you can't ignore it. It's not all on-page SEO and ignoring the off-page. You need to make sure that you're doing both. Make sure that no matter what you're making, you're doing your off-page SEO. Otherwise, it's going to impact your rankings, and you want to be as high up as possible in the rankings. So yes. make sure you do it. Also, you should do link building. You should always be trying to build links back to your website to boost your rankings. Mm -hmm. Some of this may sound a bit gobbledygook to you, so in future podcasts, we will come back and look at off-page SEO and link building yeah, in yeah, more yeah, detail. Yeah. We understand, not everybody understands all the jargon, but look we into it. We on it, couldn't we, actually? And Sorry. we will do some more information about it on P2S, so yeah. stay tuned. And the last one is brand building. Google ranks brands higher than non-brands, so make sure you build a good, solid brand. Yes. We've got plenty of resources on Passport to Success about branding. Yeah. We do regular videos about what colours you should have in your branding mm -hmm. and colour theory. And also there's everything to do with how to name your business to create the perfect logo, mm -hmm. all on Passport to Success. That's it for this week's podcast. Thank you for listening. Stay up to date with all things Passport to Success, and as we say, we will go into more depth about some of the more technical terms that we've used in this podcast today. We hope you enjoy the lovely uh, bank holiday, weekend. holiday if you are. Holiday. If not, we hope you still have a really fantastic Obviously, weekend, Friday, course, Monday. Anyway, see you in the next podcast. Bye. Bye.